everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. That will make you part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And don't forget you can sign up for my free newsletter at CorinneBlackstone.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the offset feature with Print Then Cut. We're going to make some really cute Disney Princess inspired stickers and they're really, really easy to do with this new feature in Cricut Design Space. If you don't know what an offset is, I'll put a little picture of one right here for you guys. It's a really cool way just to add a little bit of a border around your sticker, and it's really easy to do with Cricut's new offset feature. Let's go over to Design Space, and I'm going to show you guys how to get everything set up. We're going to print it, and we're going to cut it using our Cricut machine. Now, I know you guys will probably ask, this is my new silhouette. It is a Cameo 4. I'm not ready to give you guys tutorials on it just yet, but don't worry, I'm not abandoning Cricut in any way, shape, or form. I'm just going to add some silhouette stuff to the family here to teach you some of the things that you can do on the silhouette software and how to translate that over into your Cricut machine as well as also through your silhouette. This is a fun little machine. I'm excited to show you guys more about it, but I still need to learn the software a little bit better. So don't worry, those tutorials are coming. So let's get started so we can play with the new Cricut Offset. The first place we're gonna start for these is remove.bg. This is a website that will take the backgrounds out of your images. If you already have PNGs that have transparent backgrounds, you don't need to do this step, or if you're using an image from Design Space, you can skip this, but our images do have backgrounds. So what we're gonna do is click Upload Image, and it's gonna open up our desktop folders. So you're gonna need to find where you put the image that you want to use and remove the background from. So I know it's in my water slide images, and we'll start with the Aurora one. And all we're gonna do is just let it do its thing. It should remove the background, uh, really easy to do. And then all you have to do is hit Download, It'll ask you where you would like to save the image and you can save it anywhere for you that makes sense. And then simply just click save. I'll get the rest of them done. You don't need to watch me do all of them. It's the same process for all of the images. And then I'll take you over to Design Space and show you how to upload them. Once you've downloaded all your removed background images, go over to your Cricut Design Space and click upload. We're gonna click upload image and then click browse. We'll find where we saved our images again, and I just saved those into my water slide decal folder. And you'll wanna find the one that you have saved that says remove BG preview and select that one. That one's gonna have no background, so we won't need to do any cleaning up. Just choose complex or whatever. I like to do complex with these. It keeps the colors and the images a little bit more true. And then click continue. Make sure you save this as the print and cut image, which is the full color image, and then just click upload. Now it may take a moment to upload them because print and cuts make the Cricut Design Space just a little bit slow, but it's really easy. So we're gonna click Upload Image again, browse, and we'll find all of our images. So I'll go ahead and get these all uploaded, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the offset on them. Once you have all the images uploaded that you would like to use, hold Control on your keyboard or Command on a Mac and select all four of the images. Down in the lower right-hand corner, click Insert Images. This may take a moment. Again, the print and cut tends to take just a minute or two um, to load into Cricut Design Space, but once it's loaded, it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and slide these over just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and start with Aurora, our pink one, and I'm gonna put her down at the bottom just a little bit so that you guys can see the offset a little bit better. What I'm gonna do is click the word offset right here at the upper top of our screen, and I'm gonna reduce the size a little bit. I tested these and um, I liked the offset at about 12. I think that was a good size for these stickers, but you can kind of mess with them, see what you like. Um, you can play with the corners and see, you know, which one you prefer. You can use the little slidey dot, but that's a little bit laggy and doesn't give you quite as much option to, um, it's not quite as precise. So I like to use the numbers, just mess with those a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Now don't worry, your offset's gonna turn black and we'll come back to that in just a second. So I'm gonna do that for each of my princesses. And the one thing I like about offset is it remembers the default that you put it in as long as you're in the same program. So we can make sure that all of our little princesses have the same offset 
size. Now, when you move your princess, just make sure that you do select both pieces. So if I wanted to move this and move the offset too, you see how I can just move the princess? I'm going to click undo really quick. Um, you want to make sure to select both pieces when you slide them out of your way. That way you're not um, accidentally moving them off the offset and they won't be centered the way you want them. So again, I'm just going to click offset and apply. And there are our four princesses. Now I don't want a black offset. I want it to have that nice white outline. So what I'm going to do is change all my offset colors to white by just up here at the top, um, clicking right next to where it says print and cut and changing all the offset colors to white. It's going to look like they disappear, but they don't. So don't worry. This is totally normal. And then what I want to do is select each princess in the offset and go ahead to the bottom. Do you see it's got slice, weld, attach, flatten? We want to flatten. What that does is it tells Cricut Design Space that we want it to not cut around our offset and the princess, just around the outside of the offset. Just makes it all one piece. So this is a really important step. So I'm gonna do that to each of our princesses. Now, the next quick trick that we're gonna do is fit as many of these on one page as possible. So what I'm gonna do is click Shapes and open up a square. Now I did accidentally record this once without sound, so this is me re-recording. So if my stickers are not exactly in the same order or setup on this screen as they are when you see me print and cut them, that's because I messed up and I do apologize for that, but I wanted to make sure that I um, was able to record this for you guys with sound because it's hard to voice over if we don't have sound. So what I'm gonna do is down here in the lower left-hand corner is click the unlock button and I'm gonna change my width to 6.7 um, is usually what I do. I go a little bit smaller than the actual allotted print size. Your allotted print size is 6.75 by 9.25. And then I'm gonna change my height to 9.2. Now this is the amount of space we have to put our little princesses in. So what I wanna do now is right click on the square and click send to back. That's gonna move this to the back so we can see our princesses and make sure that they're going to fit onto our page. Now I like to fit as many as I can on here so I will resize a bunch of them, duplicate, things like that, and I will try to fit as many princesses on one sheet as I can. So again, these are gonna be laid out differently than the sheet that you guys are gonna see because I messed up. So what you can do is right click on your princess, click copy or and then right click again and click paste. Or you can use the duplicate feature up here in the upper right hand corner that will also make a copy of your princess. Now you can flip them around, put them upside down, put them sideways, however you want to do it to fit as many in as you can. Resize them, do whatever you want to do. And again, you're just gonna make as many as you can fit on your sticker paper. Now we are using the StarCraft printable vinyl. This is a waterproof paper and I love this stuff. It works so well, it cuts and prints really well. Now as you're doing this, you wanna make sure that none of your princesses overlap in any way. You just wanna make sure that you fit as many as you can on your screen without them overlapping. So you don't want something like that because it's gonna cut out wrong you're gonna end up with a line through the princesses and your stickers are not gonna be the way that you wanted them to be. So just keep that in mind when you're placing these that you do wanna make sure that they don't overlap. Now I could fit Belle here just barely, she fits, and we'll just duplicate a few things and I'm gonna just go ahead and finish filling this up. And like I said, my sheet's gonna look different, so just be aware of that. My sheet will look a little different from the one that you're gonna see me cut because again, I forgot to hit unmute. Now, when we go to cut this, the first thing that we need to do now that I've filled my sheet pretty well is hide our square because we don't want the square. So right down here in the layers tab, you can just use the little eyeball to hide it or you can fully delete it, it's up to you. This next step is super important. You wanna select your entire group of princesses and down in the lower right hand is attach. You want to attach them. That lets Cricut Design Space know not to move them around on your sheet for your print and cut. Now, when we click Make It, I will show you here, it should keep them all in the same order, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. You can see they're exactly the way I laid them out on the sheet. If I didn't attach them, it would have moved them around to fit them the way it thinks it should fit, which is not always the most efficient or 
the best. So now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And I'm gonna show you the best way to print this because there are different things that you can do to make sure that your prints come out really, really good. Click send to printer and it's gonna load your image over here. And once it's done that, it's gonna ask you which printer you wanna choose. So make sure you choose the correct printer, especially if you have more than one. I leave the bleed on. Um, it just gives it a little bit more of a leeway if it's going to cut outside of your offset, but the offset really does help with any of the issues as far as like cutting into your image if it's pretty close. This is the button that is really important. This is the use system dialog button, and this is gonna open the printer settings. So go ahead, turn that on and click print. It may take a moment to open your printer settings, and it may also pop that box behind some other things. So if you don't see it pop up in a minute or two, go ahead and reduce the size of your Cricut Design Space and look down in your toolbar to see if that is available. Make sure that the same printer is selected here and go ahead to preferences. Yours might look a little bit different than mine, but you should be able to find a preferences setting. And then there's a ton of different preferences, preferences that you can choose. So you can see here that we have the plain bright white paper chosen. This really works great for the StarCraft printable vinyl because it is a matte product. And right here where it says quality, I wanna put this on the high quality print. That's gonna eliminate all those little lines that you tend to get in your prints. Once you're done with that, click OK, and when you're ready to print, click Print. We're ready to load our mat, so what you wanna do is make sure that your stickers are the same direction that they show on the screen. So you want your top at the top, your bottom at the bottom, and you wanna line this up with the corner of the mat best you can. You want it as straight as you can get it, and that was not very straight, so I'm gonna fix that but you want it as straight as it can be. That was better. And now we're gonna go ahead and put this in our machine. So again, I'm using the Cricut Maker, but you can do this with the Explore as well. The Explore does the print then cut too. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and load our mat. Now I know I'm using green, and you guys are probably like, why are you using a green mat? It's paper. This is fine, this mat isn't super sticky. And because this is printable vinyl, this is a thicker, heavier material. So what I'm gonna do is hit the go button. Now it is going to turn on a little light that's kind of in between your two cradles and it's going to scan the lines. This can take a minute and sometimes it's a little bit touchy if there's too much light. But you'll see here it's scanning the lines so that it's reading each one in a couple different spots. That's how it knows where your stickers are and how to cut them. That's why it's important to attach your stickers, make sure that you place them in the right direction that it shows on the screen as well. Now that it's done scanning, it turns off the light and it's gonna take your tool over if you have the Cricut Maker and check that you have the right tool in, and then it's going to start cutting around our offset with our stickers. To get my stickers off the mat really easily, I flip my mat over. So instead of peeling the stickers from the mat, I peel the mat from the stickers. I bend my mat backwards and just carefully peel my stickers off, running my hand along the back of them. It just keeps it from curling. You definitely don't want it to curl. Now our stickers are all cut out, so I'm gonna pull one off to show you guys what they look like. I'm gonna pull off this cute little Elsa one to show you what it looks like so you can see the offset. And I'll put this on something dark so that you guys can see it better. This way you can see the offset a lot better, but it did a really nice job. It cut around the offset perfectly. I'll stick a couple other stickers to this so you guys can see. Here's all the stickers and the offsets. They came out really, really cute, and it's super easy to do now that Cricut has finally given us an offset in their software. It works really, really well with the print and cut, as you can see. And again, this is just the StarCraft printable vinyl. I would recommend using the UV laminate over this if you're going to put this on like a cup or something. It just gives a little more protection to the ink and it makes it glossy, which is nice. These are matte, 
but I still think they look really cute. Again, I don't plan on keeping them on here. I just wanted to show you guys what they would look like, but I think they look really, really good. And you can do this with pretty much any PNG image, but you will need to remove the background to get this offset. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a big square. And if that's what you want, that's okay, but that's not going to give you this kind of style offset. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.